Yo, what's good, Sticks and your boy from Intuitive Designs. Today, I'm gonna create three shirt designs for my clothing brand using only AI generated images. Now, these are not final drafts yet as they will go through some post production editing, but still, I figured it'd be a pretty cool way to show you guys the process. So, let's go. So there isn't a consistent theme for this drop since it's a capsule drop anyway. But for this design, kind of want to create something with the heavy Hajime Soriyama aesthetic. So a curvy gynoid figure uh, with metallic wings easily comes to mind. And this is one of the AI images that I ended up with. The design will revolve around it. And right now I'm using Photoshop's generative fill to kind of extend the sides of the image because as you can see, the wings are cut off very abruptly, um, which is not a good look. Now you can see that the image is more complete so this is where photoshop's ai comes to play you know this is just one of the many ways for designers um, to utilize ai in their work i've been using this for months now and i can't stress enough how much it improves my workflow After fixing the hand of the gynoid, now I'm fixing the left eye by copying the right eye and then mirroring it. Of course, AI isn't 100% perfect. You can't just take what it gives you and then call it a day. Sometimes these minor edits make a lot of difference. So don't be lazy when it comes to going the extra mile. After this is done, you can finally start adding some typography in the design. I don't specifically have any type idea planned in mind yet, so I'm kind of winging it right now, but I do like the idea of having the text circling around the ginoid. Um, I think kind of fills in the design, so I will definitely keep that one. Um, as for font choice, I'm still deciding as I go. So guys, I'm pretty content with the design so far, although not 100% set in stone yet, but I've been working on this for a bit now and I wanna move on to the next design so that it doesn't cloud my mind too much uh, because I've been going at it aimlessly, which is not a good idea. So I'm gonna leave this design as is and then come back to it again later. Moving on to the second design, conceptually, I've decided to go with something like a vintage D&D book cover art style. It's an image of Valkyrie riding a horse, but yeah, same process. I'm going to extend the image so that the tip of the sword on top is in the frame fully, as well as the wing on the left. After that, just some minor edits before I crop it from the background and then bring it to the working file. Although I'm still deciding whether to keep the background not because I really, really like the purple clouds and the blue sky color combo. It's very retro and I really like that.
now i'm moving the wing up a bit more on the shoulder line so that it looks more natural um, this is probably one of the harder AI images for me to generate because I've come out with almost 100 results and this is probably the one with the less error. Although the wing is off and whatnot, there are worse results, believe me. But yeah, I'm just going to keep on fixing the minor stuff before I start on the typography. For this one though, I am going with something chrome and bold for the text to further enhance the vintage art style. So I couldn't make it work with the background that took me a lot longer than expected. So I'm just going to go with no background at all, but I still think that it looks pretty good right now. But yeah, just like always, here's the part where I use the selective color tool to do some color grading on the design. I'm um, not going to lie, it's, it is my favorite tool. And then after this, I'll go to filter gallery and then add a couple filters before I move on to the main text. Font choice for this design is called Metal Vengeance. It kind of reminds me of the Iron Maid logo a little bit, but it's got that vintage heavy metal look already, which works very, very well for designs like this. Also, here's a tip, guys. When you're using fonts like this uh, for shirt designs, don't just limit to one size. Use a couple font sizes to create dynamic within the text. For instance, you'll see just how much solid um, this whole text looks when I enlarge the first letter E and the last letter T. A lot of designers overlook this sometimes, so keep this one in your mind, guys. After this is done, I'll use the eye candy plugin to create the 3D chrome look and then wrap it all up. Make sure you stay until the end, guys, to watch the final result. So the third and final design will have the same vintage theme as the second design. What's different is that I wanted to focus more on the text instead of the graphic itself. So I'll make the text larger to kind of give it more prominence. But yeah, it took me a while to get this AI image because I couldn't make up my mind what to feature as the main graphic element. Um, the idea is to have the slogan message from another dimension. So the theme is supposed to revolve around that, but somehow I'm not sold yet. But yeah, I'll just wing it for now.
extender is the fun choice right now i am still debating whether to keep that or not maybe i'll do the same circle text around the crystal ball element but then it wouldn't put much emphasis on the text which is what i initially wanted so for now there's a lot of experimenting going on Right, so I've decided to go with a very generic layout because I am burning out creatively. Um, I will revisit it again later on, but um, right now I'm adding this bevel and boss look to the font. I'm gonna try to get that 3D retro look without using eye candy. So let's see if this works. All right guys, so my screen quarter shut down on its own and I lost like 30 minutes of process before I noticed it. But yeah, it is what it is. So um, anyway, here's what I got so far. I'm pretty happy with that, but I'm thinking about switching the placement of the, um, the logo and uh, crystal ball just to avoid it looking too generic. And then, but yeah, just wrap it up and then show you guys the final result. 